Guys, this is a 20 minute workout you can do at home. I've just done the workout and burnt 476 calories in 20 minutes. It's a full boxing workout with boxing fitness expert, Glenn Holmes. This is one of the workouts from the Box and Burn On Demand platform. If you want more workouts like this, you can click the link below. But guys, this one here for you is free. You don't need any equipment, just a little bit of boxing experience. If you've got no boxing experience, you can click the link here where I've done a video on how to box. It's just a 20 minute workout. I'm sure you're gonna love it. You're gonna burn so many calories and increase your boxing knowledge as well. All right guys, welcome to the workout. Uh, here's your boxing workout. So we're gonna be doing five three minute rounds. We're gonna start with a three minute warm up. Tony, you ready? Yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna get to it. Starting on the bell, I'm just gonna start off with some heel flicks, get them legs awake, get the, uh, the legs moving and get on the balls of the feet. All right, so we're starting in three, two, one. Heel flicks, let's go. Uh, great for warming up for your boxing these because they're getting you straight onto the balls of the feet and getting those legs moving. All right, so from there, we're just going to go into a, uh, bouncing on the toes, big circles forward, loosen up them shoulders. That's it, really important to get them shoulders loosened up. We're going to be doing a lot of punching, get that blood flow through the arms, and then same thing, just reverse, going straight back. That's it, nice big uh, circles, keeping the same rhythm in the feet, staying out of those heels. Five, four, three, two, one, next one, hinging back into the hips, just gonna go forward, middle, and back. Get them hamstrings, get that lower back awake. Guys, when you're punching, a lot of rotation in that lower back, so just making sure we're getting that uh, nice and loose and awake before we box. And then from there, we're just gonna go into some rotation as well, so staying back in the hips, arm swings all the way across. Nice big windmill, keep them arms straight, just let it swing, everything nice and loose. Sit back into those hips, keep that back nice and flat. That's it, and three, two, one, next one, just getting the hamstrings awake, so opposite hand, opposite foot. Three steps in between. Try and get to shoulder height with that, that foot, that's it. Start off slow, start off short, build it up as you go through. Another 10 seconds on these, that's it. And then we're gonna go into some more rotational work. That's it, nice, good. Breathing as you go, three, two, one. Next one, just into a reverse lunge, sit into that glute, rotate over that front leg, push out of the glute coming up. That's it, keeping that core tight guys, breathe, exhale as you rotate. Imagine trying to reach for that middle of the lower back with the hands as you go, that's it. A little bit lower, drop that back knee just off the ground. Another five seconds, so just one more rep. Three, two, one, and then into a squat press. Feet shoulder width apart, sit back into the hips and drive all the way into that press. Again, just getting them shoulders awake, getting your glutes awake. As you come down into that squat, keep that core tight. Exhale through that range of motion going up. That's it, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna set the feet, we're just gonna punch across the body. Full rotation right here, right through the feet, all the way up to the shoulders, turn, turn, turn. Make sure you're fully extending them arms. Feel that stretch through your back and your lats. Another five seconds, a little quicker tempo. Snap them punches a little bit, that's it. And then from there, we're just gonna go up and across. Feel that stretch through the lats, up and across, up and across. Good. Last 30 seconds, we're gonna work on getting the heart rate up a little bit. So five more seconds right there. Three, two, one, just jumping jacks. 10 seconds right here. So last 30 now, it's gonna get that heart rate up as it starts to go up. Keep your breathing nice and slow. Stay nice and relaxed. Five seconds. And then we're gonna go into high knees. Three, two, one, just alternating the high knees. Drive them arms into it. Nice and light on the feet. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, and then just set your feet, just non-stop one, two. Just get that boxing brain on. Turning the hips, fully extend. Last five seconds, a little quicker tempo. Breathing, three, two, and time. Nice, good job, relax. All right guys, so you got 40 seconds before the first round starts. What we're gonna work on in this first round is the double jab, right? So this is kind of awkward for, for some people. So if it's the first time throwing the double jab, we're gonna throw two jabs, right? We're gonna fully extend the first jab, and then we're gonna step with that second jab. So jab and jab, right? You can use your feet with the double jab to get that, that rhythm. Step, step. Make sure you fully extend the jab. After we've landed the second jab, we're going to slip. We're going to practice slipping to the inside. We're going to practice slipping to the outside. So taking your head off that line after that second jab. So 10 seconds to get ready. As we go through the round, we're going to work on going backwards and forwards with that double jab. But to start off, we're just going to take a couple of short steps forward and fully extend. Ready? All right, let's go. So on my go, we're just gonna throw a double jab and then slip, so go. Jab, jab, and slip, good. So that time you notice he, he threw the double jab and slipped to the left, right? So it's key as well, just mix it up, going both ways after each double jab. Go, and then slipping, nice. See how he's just taking his head off the line, little turn of the shoulders, 
moving the feet in between. Go. That's it, nice. Good. Fully extending the punch on both shots. Go. That's it, good, nice. All right, this time, when we throw the double jab, I want you to take a step back. So it's going to be the left hand, uh, left hand, right foot. So we step back, step back, and then slip again after that double jab. So we need to step back with each jab. Go. Step, step, and then slip in. Good. A little bit of movement to reset the feet. And go. Boom, boom. Good. So what he's doing with that double jab, imagine if there's an opponent coming onto you, just keeping him at arm's length and then slipping the punches from there. Go. Good. Nice. All right, so that's a minute down. Two more minutes on this double jab. Now I want it to be a little bit snappier. We're going to go back to going forwards again. So this time we're going to be a bit more explosive and really push off those feet and be as explosive as you can with it. Make sure you fully extend, bring the hand all the way back on each jab. Go. Good. So you're trying to cover plenty of ground with that double jab. Go. Nice. Good. Sinking the front foot and the front hand. So left hand, left foot, both moving together. Ready. Go. That's it. And then slipping after that. So this time we throw that double jab coming forward. So you come forward, you're gonna slip, uh, slip, to your, slip to your right. So there, so imagine if I was coming back with another jab, he's pushed me back with that double jab. I've come in with a jab, he's slipping it to his right. Go, there we go, good. Another 15 seconds on this, then we're gonna bring in the cross. Go, slip, that's it, nice, good. The sharp head movement, keeping nice and relaxed in between. Two more, coming forward with that double jab, go. Slip, that's it, nice. And go. Shh, shh. All right, last minute now, so we're gonna throw that two behind it. So we've thrown the double jab, we're gonna throw that cross, turn the hips, fully extend, keep the jab hand up by the chin, and then slip in after that as well. So head movement after that cross, so jab, jab, two. Go, jab, jab, two, good. Notice how it fully extends that right arm, gets that shoulder right through the punch, turn the hip, turn the foot, go. Step, step, turn, and then head movement after it. Don't forget the slip after the right hand. Go. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. So the rhythm on that is jab, jab, two, right? Now I want it a little quicker one. Jab, jab, two. Ready? Go. Shh, shh, shh. So now we've increased the speed in the punch. You've got to have the feet matching that. So the feet have got to be quick too. Last 30 seconds now. Go. Shh, shh, shh. And slip in. Go. Shh, shh, shh. That's it. Breathing, relaxing. Go. Step, step, two. Good. Step in, step in. Throw that cross. Make sure your feet are set for the two. 10 seconds left. Go. Shh, shh, shh. Good. Go. Shh, shh, shh. Nice. And last one coming up. Make it explosive. Go. Shh, shh, shh. And time. Rest. Nice. All right, guys. Have a rest. Get the heart rate down. So he's worked on that double jab there. A couple of things for you to practice. Working that double jab coming forward. Working that double jab going back. And then also putting that cross behind it. Not forgetting that head movement after each one. All right. So there we go. Round one done. We've got 30 seconds till round two starts. Catch your breath. Get a sip of water if you need it. Round two. We're going to do a three punch combination for the first half of the round. The second half of the round, we're going to double that. All right, so let's take, for example, a three punch combination we just did in round one, the jab, jab, two. The second half of the round, we're going to double that, so it'd be jab, jab, two, jab, jab, two, okay? Combinations are up to you, get creative. Three punches at a time, moving around in between. We're going to start the first 90 seconds, just three. Ready? So hands up, on my go, you're going to throw a three punch combination. Go. Boom, 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 good. Now I want you to try and throw a different combination every single time, so you gotta really think about what you're gonna throw. While I'm talking and cueing and coaching through this, think about what your combination might be. Go, boom, boom, boom. So that was a double jab and then a left hook to the body, all on the same side. Go, jab, jab, hook. So a jab, uppercut, hook, there's another one. Go, boom, 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 good. Body shots as well. Go, boom, 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 good. Remember the second half of this round, whatever combination you're going to throw, you're going to double it up. So prepare for that when we get halfway through the round. Keeping that technique, hands up, breathing, go. Bam, bam, bam. Nice, good. Nice sharp rhythm. Boom, boom, boom. Go. Shh, shh, shh. Nice. Another 30 seconds on these three punches. Go. Shh, shh, shh. That's it. Notice how he's coming down to the body. When you come down to the body, get into those legs. Go. Shh, shh, shh. Nice. Three jabs. Go. That's it, turning those hips, hands back to the chin. If you're throwing a straight punch, make sure you're fully extending those arms, turn those wrists over. Go, boom, boom, boom. nice. All right, another 20 seconds, then we're gonna start doubling it up, right? So we've gotta build the endurance up a little bit. Go, boom, boom, boom. nice. Breathing on your punches, go, go. That's it, perfect. All right, guys, relax, shake it off for a minute. All right, so the last half of this round, second half of this round, Whatever the combo is, do it twice. Hook, cross, hook, hook, cross, hook, right? You just gotta double up your combination. Try and mix it up. 
Ready, go. That's it, perfect. As we get to the last 30 seconds, I want you to really increase that speed. So concentrate on your form from here. Go. Nice, good. So one, two, hook, one, two, hook. Deep breath, breathing, keeping them feet alive. Go. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Now, perfect example right there. Jab, jab, two, jab, jab, two. So we've got 60 seconds left. Keep that breathing going. Go. That's it, perfect. Moving, keeping them feet nice and wide, staying off those heels. Relaxing the shoulders, breathing, concentrating, chin down. Go. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's it. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Good, think about your combinations, keep it creative. Mix up your shots, 30 seconds uh, to go. Ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so this, for this last 30 seconds, you're just doing exactly the same thing. Let's push that speed a little bit. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ready, go. That's it, perfect. 25 seconds left, keep your speed, keep your technique, breathing, go. Go. That's it, so it's a six punch combination, it's getting tough now, pushing that endurance. Last 10 seconds coming up, we're gonna do two more. Go. That's it, perfect. Last one right here, make it sharp, snappy, explode, go. <laughs> what was that, Just five? All right, guys, great work. Have a rest. Two rounds done. Nice job. Um, that one's really good because uh, <laughs> you're, you're thinking about your combinations the whole time, right? You're like, what am I going to throw next? And it's forcing you to think while you're still in there. So it's just not just mindless combinations. So uh, good work. Nice job. All right, round three coming up. We're going to work on finishing on the hook. We did this in the last boxing uh, workout. Remember, the, the punch, the hook is an awkward punch. So we're just working on getting that elbow up, fist right in front of the face, and shifting that weight to the back leg. You can set it up with whatever you want. You can do the one, two, one, two, one, two, whatever you want. 10 seconds to get ready. We're going to finish on the hook. When we get to the last minute of this round, we're going to sprint for one minute, okay? So get ready for that sprint at the end. All right, time in, hands up. For all I want you to focus on for this first minute is just technique, right? So we're bringing that intensity down. Just think of, check that end position. Uh, finishing on the hook, that's it. All right, this time I want you to throw the combination of freeze on the hook. So I throw a combination of freeze on the hook. All right, so look at his position right there. Elbows up, fist right in front of the face. Heels come off the ground, weight slightly on the back leg. So that's where you should be after every hook. All right, let's get back in. This time you're gonna go on my goal. When I say go, just nice steady combination, finish on the hook. Go. Boom, boom. That's it, moving around in between. As soon as that hook lands as well, hands right back to the chin. Go. Shh, shh, shh. That's it, perfect. I want you to feel your core work. When you throw that hook, turn right through that core, rotate. Go. Nice, good. Get creative with your punches or keep it nice and simple. One, two hooks, good enough. Remember, we're just practicing the technique on the hook for this round. Go. Boom, 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 boom. That's it, nice. Another minute on working on the hook and then we're gonna sprint for the last minute. Keep it going. Ready, go. That's it. This time on your next hook, as soon as it lands, I want you to feel that weight go to your back foot. Think about the weight transfer in the legs this time. Go. That's it, perfect. So about 60% weight's going to that power side. Go. That's it, nice, good. Breathing, breathing, go. That's it, good stuff, good stuff. Another 30 seconds on this hook. Go. That's it, nice, nice. Go. That's it, plenty of core rotation. Let them feet swivel on the floor. Go. That's it, getting the elbow up. Doesn't have to be too high, but make sure it's just not tucked in like this. Make sure you lift it. 15 more seconds, go. That's it, go. Good, one more, ready? Go. All right, deep breath, shake it off. Five seconds, I want you to set your feet. We're gonna start off steady. We're punching non-stop to the bell. Ready, three, two, one, just one twos, starting off nice and steady, getting that rhythm going, turning the hips. So I'm thinking about technique, but we're working that shoulder endurance now. Another 50 seconds left. We're gonna increase the speed intensity as we go through this minute. Hands back to the chin, fully extend, turn the hips, turn the feet. All right, we've got 40 seconds left. Just gradually start increasing that tempo a little bit. Turn over, turn over, that's it. Turn those wrists, hands back to the face. All right, let's up the speed a little bit. We've got 30 seconds left. A little bit faster now. Turn, 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 turn. Faster, faster, picking it up. By the time we get to the last 10 seconds, I want to max effort on speed. Keep that technique though. Make sure you're fully extending and hands are coming back to the chin. Keep it going. 
We got another 15 seconds, like start turning it up now. 15 seconds, that's it, perfect. Notice how he's turning the shoulders, turning the hips, turning the feet, it's all working together. All right, here we go, last 10, go. Full on, non-stop, one, two, burn it out. Breathe, breathe, go, go, go. Punch it out, three, two, and time, nice, good job everyone. I hope you're enjoying your workout right now and while you're on your quick break, I wanna tell you about this supplement that I've been taking for quite some time. This is Alpha Brain by Onnit and this really helps my memory, helps us stay focused, helps us stay sharp, gives us the energy that I need to create the videos for YouTube that I've been creating and this is backed by science. So if you wanna help support your memory, support your focus, this might be the supplement for you. It definitely does help me live better day to day. So if you want to try it, you can use the link below on it.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off. Give it a try. I guarantee you that you will not regret it. Now get back to your workout. And we're on the toes, just moving around, right? Get creative with where you're going. So you're going to go to your left, move forward, move back, move to your right, work on your pivots. Remember the key with this footwork is keeping those feet nice and wide. Try and stay out of those heels. We're not stepping like this, we're nice and light. Notice how Tony's got that bounce, that bounce all the time in his feet. Staying relaxed up top. All right, now we're gonna throw the one, two on my go, right? Ready, go. Boom, boom, just a nice long one, two. 20 seconds on this, go. He's moving in between, but as soon as he throws a jab, they're using that to set his feet. Go, boom, boom, good, moving again. And go, back, back, good. Now the next 20 seconds is gonna be a jab hook, two hook, all right? On my go, ready, go. Jab, hook, two, hook. Go, jab, hook, two, hook. That's it, nice. Nice and quick with that jab, hook. Touch, touch, power, power. Go, that's it, good. Five more seconds, we're gonna do one more. Go, jab, hook, two, hook, good. Right back to your footwork, 20 seconds on footwork. Forwards, backwards, using the pivot. Switching direction, keeping the upper body nice and relaxed. That's it, think about what you're gonna do. 10 more seconds. Forwards, front foot first coming forward, back foot first going back. Good job. All right, three, two, one. On my goal is throwing that nice long one, two. Let's make it a bit snappier now. Go, ba -ba. that's it. Moving the feet in between, breathing. Go, shush, go, shush, that's it. Always ready and on balance to throw that one, two. Never switching off. Go, shush, that's it. Go, shush, go, shush. All right, back to that jab hook, two hook. 20 seconds on this, and then we got the sprint to finish. Go, jab, hook, two, hook, good. Jab, hook, two, hook. That's it, breathing, breathing. Jab, hook, two, hook. Good work, keep it going, guys, keep it going. Breathing in between. Make sure you exhale on your punches too. Go, shh, 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 that's it. Go, shh, 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 nice. All right, set your feet, steady. One, two, let's go. Another minute, punch it out. Breathing, breathing. Shoulder endurance. Notice how his chin's down, he's not lifting the head. Keeping the technique, picture your target in front of you. Both punches land in the same spot. <coughs> Keep turning those hips. Non-stop one, twos. All right, 40 seconds left, I want 10 seconds all out. Go, 10 seconds all out, breathe, 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 breathe. That's it, keep turning those hips. Three, two, one, bring it back down, slow and steady. <sighs> Breathing through it, keep it going. Breathing steady. When we get to 15 seconds, all out again. Keep it going. Technique right here, hands back to your chin. I know you're tired, breathe through it, keep your technique. This is where it pays off, keep it going. Three, two, one, sprint now, go. Last one, 15 seconds, it's only 15 seconds. Punch out, punch out, non-stop work. Keep turning those hips, hands all the way back to the chin, all the way out, all the way back, keep it going. Last five, finish strong, finish quick. Three, two, and time, relax. Good work, good work. All right, four down, one more to go. We're going back to what we did in round three. We're gonna finish everything on the hook, a chance for you to get creative again. I know your uh, heart rate's up, maybe feeling a little bit tired, but uh, deep breath, recover now. You've got 30 seconds to get ready for the next round. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Get your mind right. Um, for, for the last round, everything's gonna finish on that hook again. So just a quick refresher on the technique, elbow up, shifting that weight to the back leg, turning the hips, turning the feet, rotate right across the punch. That's what we're gonna work on for the last round. I'm gonna give you a 30 second sprint at the end of this and we're gonna finish with that, okay? So five seconds to get ready, deep breath in. Combination's up to you. On my go, we're just gonna finish every combination on the hook, ready? All right, hands up. Two and a half minutes, finishing on the hook. That's it, nice and relaxed, breathing, good. 
Notice how you start off nice and relaxed, start the round steady, get into your rhythm. We're going to increase that intensity, right? So here we're just working on technique with that hook. All right, so another, uh, another couple of minutes on that hook. Good, notice how he's breathing. If it's a three punch combination, you've got three out breaths. Breathe every punch. Elbow up on the hook, turn the hips, go. All right, from here we're gonna go on my go, right? So uh, two minutes on the go, ready? Go. Nice, good. Go. That's it, elbow up every time, turn those hips. Think about your technique every time you land that punch. Technique, as soon as it's landed, it's not finished. Gotta get them hands back, think about the footwork. Go. That's it, good work. Another 90 seconds, I'm finishing on this hook. Go. That's it. See, he's getting creative with what he's setting it up with. So uppercuts, body shots. Doesn't always have to be the same thing, but if you don't feel comfortable mixing it up, just keep sticking to that one-two hook. Go. That's it. Whatever you feel good setting up that hook with, do it. Go. That's it. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna do a better hook if you're coming off that cross, because the weight's through to your front side, it's gonna allow you to get more torque into that hook. Go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> there you go, try that one. Do it again, do it again. Go. <laughs> Five jabs. <laughs> Ready, go. Nice work, guys, keep it going. Breathing, breathing. Go. That's it, this time after you land that hook, I want you to slip back and come back with another hook. So if we go one, two, hook, slip back to your front side, hook again and then move, right? So hook, slip, hook to finish. Another minute to go, this is the last minute of the workout. Let's finish strong, ready, go. Slip, hook, there you go. So hook, slip, hook, go. That's it, if you're slipping, you're slipping back to your front side. So orthodox, you're gonna slip back to your left to set up that hook again, go. Boom. That's it, good. And the 15 seconds with the slip, keep it going. Go. Boom, 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 boom. That's it, go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, go. Slip hook, that's it. All right, shake it off, big deep breath in. We've already done it for a minute in the last round, we've only got 30 seconds. Set your feet, one, two to the bell. Last one, guys, let's go. I want it sharp all the way through, non-stop. Punch, punch, punch. Let's really up that speed. 20 seconds, rely on your core, get them hips turning. Fully extend, come on, punch out. Shoulder endurance, breathe, push your speed. 15 seconds, keep it going. Last 10, I want max effort, 100% effort, ready? And go, 10 seconds. Burn it out, burn it out, go, go, go. Finish strong, everyone, in five, breathe. Three, two, and time. And relax, good work, everyone. Get that heart rate back down. Great job, guys, good work. Great five rounds of shadow boxing. Again, just working on the technique. Burn it out as well, building that shoulder endurance, getting that heart rate up, good stuff. Hope you're feeling all right. A little cool down. From there, we're just gonna get that lower back stretched out. A lot of rotation there, so slowly over, just let your body hang, let your arms relax. Deep breaths, deep breathe into your back, feel that stretch, that's it. And then from there, just gonna slowly round yourself back up. And then nice, smooth, slow rotation. That's it. And then we'll just go right arm, touch the back of the neck, get a good tricep stretch in there, deep breaths. Get that heart rate down, decompress. Shake it off, switch sides. A little pressure on that elbow, trying to just walk those fingers down the back, deep breathe. And then last one for your hands and wrists, just roll the wrists and then shake the arms off. Guys, great work. Thanks so much for doing this workout. If you have any questions about the workout, shadow boxing, technique, any of that stuff, you can send me a direct message on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help you out. Great job, and I look forward to seeing you on the next workout. Guys, I'm sure you agree with me. That was a great workout. If you want more workouts like that, click the link below, sign up for the Box and Burn On Demand workouts where I'm gonna give you a seven day free trial of that. Also check Glenn out on Instagram and his YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching.